Hi, it's Mike and welcome to this video on using wikis in Moodle. I do have a word of warning, it's really straightforward. Right, demonstration wiki. Uh, when a student clicks on the wiki link provided by the teacher, they see effectively six tabs, view, edit, comments, history, maps and files. So you click on the edit function and or on the edit tab and a text editor pops up very similar to the uh, word buttons uh, along the top and I have added some text for you here. This is our wiki homepage and it's the first page you will see when clicking on the wiki link on the VLE webpage. It's our collaborative space and anyone can in our group can uh, participate in it. Now, how do we create another wiki page? So we create new wiki pages by using double square brackets, just like the uh, example there. So double square brackets, and in there you put the name of the page or what you want the page to be called. I've just put name of my new page. And then if you scroll on down, you need to hit save, full stop. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I've created a new wiki page called Tips on Work working remotely and in the top left image I've got uh, the home page you can see the text that I uh, put on from the previous slide and at the bottom in red italics it says tips on working remotely and this is the new wiki page that that I created with a double square bracket now it's red and italicized because that page has not yet been created and only the link has. And when you click on the new link called Tips on Working Remotely, you get another editing view. And uh, the name of the page is in, yeah, sort of in the top. And then you have that text editor again. So put in your text and you can add images uh, as well. And don't forget, scroll down, hit save. When you go back to the home page, instead of red italics, you can see it's the nice blue link that we're all familiar with. Okay, so looking at tips on working remotely, it's, um, you know, this is the content that I've put on that tips on working remotely wiki page, but there's one more thing to do. And I think it's really good practice and it will help you probably time and time again. So here we have the content as I've put on the wiki page called Tips on Working Remotely. And you may want to sort of pause the video and have a look at uh, these tips. But I think it's really, really good practice to put a link to the home page at the top. Uh, so I've just put uh, less than home and added the link to the home page. And don't forget, scroll down, hit save. Okay. So that was the edit feature and creating wiki pages with the double square brackets. Now let's have a look at comments. So uh, anybody can uh, put a comment. And this is on the uh, on the home page. I added a comment uh, by clicking add comment and then created the comment. Now you can delete the comment with the sort of trash trash can uh, icon or indeed edit the comment by clicking the cog just next to it. Let's have a look at history. If you click the history tab, then uh, you can see the different versions. This I'm talking about on the sort of left hand image. Uh, you can see the different versions as things are added to the wiki. Uh, and on the far left hand corner, you can see two blue radio buttons. Now, what this uh, can do is you can look at the latest version and you can go back to a previous version and click the button underneath called Compare Selected. Uh, the right hand image uh, shows this comparison. And you can see that uh, on the home page in the previous version, I had not added tips on working remotely in double brackets or learning resources. So effectively, uh, users can see what's previous, see what uh, is now, and 
if you sort of look in the um, bottom right hand um, image top left of that you've got view and restore so you can either view the previous version or you can restore your wiki back to uh, that version so that's pretty neat okay moving away from that here's map and what this does it gives you a, a list of your wiki pages now this is why I uh, called my homepage one dot homepage because I knew it was going to be at the top of this A to Z list of uh, other wiki pages and you can see on my uh, right hand image here um, I put on that tips for working remotely uh, wiki page I've got my back to home button um, and, that, and that is why uh, I've done that because you'd always have to come back to this map thing now if you um, called it zoology page guess what it will be right at the bottom of the A to Z list and so you'd have to click map scroll all the way down and and so on so it was, uh, it was all you know it's easy to put uh, number one call the page whatever you want and it'll always be at the top okay so this is the last slide in this uh, wiki video um, just a reminder then you create wiki pages by double bracket square bracket sorry double square bracket uh, put your wiki new wiki page name in it and end in double square bracket it will look uh, in red italics if you've done nothing with that wiki page or it will go blue as uh, as all links should be and then underneath you can see um, uh, another wiki page which I call learning resources just to show you and demonstrate a put that put a sort of link uh, top left to the home page you can add it images and also within text you can add links as well anyway that's it from me my name's mike you can find me on twitter at a little gray hair on the web at a little gray hair.com if you like these videos hit like or subscribe um, if you do hit subscribe then every time i uh, upload uh, another video you'll be notified through uh, YouTube email so hey thanks for watching and see you in the next one